and welcome back gamers, it has been a while. I'm of course Dredd Newsom, and we are here in a whole new episode of Don't Starve. Um, <clears throat> lots have changed. Uh, a lot has changed since I've uh, played, I've upgraded my computer a bit, had to change some things, you know, get all the software back. Some of my games, uh, unfortunately, did not get to stick around, so some I might have to do over. Uh, we might switch gears a little bit. Uh, don't, don't really know how it's gonna go just yet. But, you know, we're here, we're gonna have fun, probably, and whatever else. So, this, oh my god. I already made it to all the edges of this place? Who knows? Um, so... I'm probably gonna die. One sec, I can't see anything. Yep. 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 There we go. Oh, what is with the twilight? Come on, man. I need some flint. So anyways, um, this is Reign of Giants. Uh, I don't remember if I had a video series of this uh, going before, but I do now. Um, it's fun, I've seen some other people play it, there are some aspects that I'm not quite familiar with in the Don't Starve world, like, um, the rain. Man, I need some flint. Pretty bad. Oh, there's some flint. So, you know, that's what we're playing. The old, the old stuff's kind of vanilla. I've, I've got... Oh, that music scared me. I was like, oh my god. Um, I've, I've gotten to some places, you know, I've uh, done some things. I... Friggin' turkey. I hate those jerks. But I got to places, um, and that sort of thing, so. I mean, I survived a long time on my own playthrough, and I'm, uh, I'm sure people have seen, like, a lot of this already, so. So we're just, we're just gonna roll with this. Hopefully it won't be too unbearable. So, there are a lot more enemies, I believe, in Reign of Giant. Ooh. A feather hat. I don't recall what feather hat does. I think it summons more birds, maybe? I have no idea. Let's be honest. It's dusk. So I've also recently picked up, um, I mean, technically I would have gotten it for free, but I picked up, uh, Don't Starve Together, um, which seems like a pretty fun game. So I might do a video series of that instead if this isn't so popular. I mean, I'm not a huge YouTuber anyway, so um, <clears throat> I might do that with some of my friends, you know, we'll have them on and we can make fun of them or whatever, or make fun of me, or make fun of them making fun of me. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Hopefully this will be interesting and fun and no one will... Oh. I need... I don't know how the biomes work as well, or as much in uh, Reign of Giants. So I'm hoping it's similar. I think it is. Hoping. I can make a... Okay, good. <clears throat> Probably need some kind of hat. Preferably a grass hat or similar. But I'm also looking for poops. And I, I played the, uh, the, <clears throat> the Don't Starve Together with my friends. It's actually pretty interesting. Like, the food in the beginning is definitely a problem. Plus, they weren't as familiar with the game, so it was kind of a scramble anyway. Alright, guys, I know you're here. This is a big biome. Come on, now. Come on. Are you kidding me? And that's the end of that biome. So that sucks. What is that? The tunnel system must be vast. Oh, look, here's another one. We're gonna have to make camp in a minute, though. Not sure. I'm not sure. What was I saying? I don't remember. I'm trying to focus on not letting the nighttime catch up to me. And I'm getting wet. Phew, that's a thing as well. Let's... Hmm, I don't know if I can make a 
back there. Hopefully there's a tree around here. So usually if there are fields of bees, there aren't many trees. Here we go. to make a Like, uh, too long to sort of get this under control. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure what happens. I know it's not good, though. Let's destroy some more trees. Man, I can't believe I passed through two of those biomes. Let's go up there tomorrow. And uh, we'll figure out why there aren't any beefalo. Actually, we probably won't figure that out. But we'll be up there. Things will happen. It'll, it'll be a grand time. Ah, flip, I need another flint. Doo doo doo. Some sticks. Can I chop down some more trees? Yeah, probably. Oh, I can take them off with my hat. What does that do? Does anyone know what the feather hat does? <coughs> I should probably cook up some berries as well. <coughs> Alright. Whew! Man, night feels like it's going forever. Good. So Wicker Bottom's pretty good. She has a really powerful ability. It's she actually gets a lot more. I read, but I mean, for some reason, I can only see a certain few. But this, not this one. This one is really powerful. It basically like pops every like growing thing up a level. So like if it's a bush, it produces berries. If it's farms, they grow all the way. If they're trees, they pop up to the next tier of tree. It's pretty overpowered. I mean, it costs a chunk of your sanity, but she's got kind of got a well of it. <clears throat> and she's got a decent amount of health. Some of the other characters are a little bit OP, too. Especially if you're, like, bad at watching the daytime. Um, the pyro is really good because she's got an infinite lighter. And you can basically keep... I mean, you can't see anything, but you can keep moving and sort of figure it out. Like, Ugh. But, you know, I opted to be an old woman who needs glasses, because, you know, it's probably like my spirit animal. And I know... I mean, but anyways, yeah, it's old woman, glasses, my spirit animal. Probably crotchety, you know, just generally awful. You kind of want to push them into a gutter, maybe. Yeah, that's me. Don't push me into a gutter, though, that'd be rude. And, you know, I'm um, probably get away with it as well, because I'm not really a fighter. Well, maybe I would. If you pushed me into a gutter, maybe it would have a problem. But, you know, it's a gutter. No one wants to be there. Come on, think of the children. I hear more of those clockwork nights. Where are the beefalo? Um, no, let's not go this way. Ooh, look at all those berry bushes. Let's go up this way, I guess. It's not really anything drawing me to any particular place. I may have mentioned in the other videos, but you, you <coughs> uh, tactic you want is not to be like in the dead center of any particular biome. Why I wanted a shovel? I don't really need it. Rocks on the ground is pretty sweet, though, because you know. Ooh, graveyard. That means there might be gold on the ground. Look at that! Woohoo! Why can't that happen in real graveyards? Holy... Oh, ho, ho! Jackpot! Oh my goodness. Seriously, though. Look at this. Out of here, bird. Oh, man. Talk about a windfall. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of it. The hat. The hat is pretty good. No, don't. No. Oh, it's got 100% on it, too. Holy crap. It's awesome. Awesome. Here's 
the stony biome. Let's get on the road. Maybe we can... Holy crap, even more! I promise, guys, I did not turn this up as a way to cheat. I mean, I did uh, tweak the settings on a few things, but I did not ask for more corpses. Maybe that's a thing in this mode? I don't know. There are a lot of dead guys around. It should probably be concerning, but I'm more excited than anything. And you know you're a terrible person when you're excited uh, that there are a lot of dead people. Ooh, another grassy biome! And if I could put it... Oh my goodness, this would be so good. Oh, Lord. Maybe over here? Man, there are a lot of these biomes, but not many beefalo. I need the poops. Come on. Come on, guys. Give up the poops. There's gotta be some in here. Come on. Come on! I need grass. Do I have room for grass? Oh, no, I've got it. Okay. have to like, I don't know. I hate settling. I mean, I can make more than one place that I can camp. I did that in one of my other games, and it was actually pretty sweet. Like, things were just going so well. I had lots of bases. They all focused on different resources. Like, one was for catching bunnies. One was for being close to the pig king. All sorts of cool stuff. I, I was very... I felt very... Oh, yes! Beefalo. There's at least one. And where there's one... There might be one more. Yay! Okay. That's awesome. So let's go... Let's... Hmm. Probably in there. Straight across. Yay, beefalo! Ho-ho! Woo-hoo! Lots of beefalo. Let's go right about here. Here. We will build here. They make that cheaper? Oh no, I just have a lot of stone. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's get to work. Do I need planks for something else? Probably. Boop. And then we will get this guy going. Hooray! Base established. What else do I need? Just get going. Not grass walls. I don't even know why grass walls are a thing. They're so worthless. Much more science machine. I need one more stone. Let's go grab a stone if I can really quick. Oh yeah, so uh, my like Drax's guide to having a decent base always be next to a road like this, as, as you see. Always be between biomes or near several biomes, as you can see. We're like smack dab in the middle where there's uh, lots of berry bushes, lots of grass, stones, and then there's a forest not too far, but it's all connected to a road, so if I'm out far, I can get back easier. All that good stuff. What am I gonna do? Oh my garbage. Throw some stuff in here, like gold, like this weird hat. Uh, I'll keep those hats. Oh, uh, I need... I need lots of stuff. Get out of here, birds. Yeah, so, hooray! Base established, and we got a free chest. Maybe we'll find Chester. Who knows? Do you know who Chester is? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just here playing games. Don't ask me questions. I mean, you can. Nom, nom, nom. Berries. So another... Uh, did I mention this before? I forget. Um, but you want to keep berry bushes that are sort of near your base. Just left, leave them alone. Get stuff that's really far. Like these berry bushes, unless I put a base over here, these berry bushes are great candidates. Because when winter comes, it, you're going to be hard-pressed to be able to travel that far without, like, another base somewhere over here. So, you know, it's a good idea to keep any nearby because then they'll grow and you won't have to, like, constantly provide them fertilizer to get renewed. But anyway, as nighttime approaches, I will call this episode here, and I will say, I have been Drax and Usum. this has been Don't Starve, Reign of the Giant, and you have been fantastic. We will see you here next time, gamers. Have a good one.